Refugee Week starts today with events being held around the nation to encourage unity and understanding of the plight of refugees. Kubra Maradi fled Afghanistan with her family when she was a small child. Kubra joins us from Melbourne along with Con Karapanagiotis from Melbourne's Asylum Seeker Resource Centre. Good morning to you both. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Kubra Maradi, if I could begin with you and uh, just ask a little bit about um, your experiences in coming to Australia. And I understand you've been here 11 years now. Uh, yes, uh, so my dad, he came in 2000 and he was in Wumira Detention Centre and he was on temporary, temporary protection visa for three years. And me and my family, we came to Australia, uh, the rest of the family, we came to Australia in uh, December 2005. And you've been here 11 years. What have your experiences in that time coming to Australia, what have they been like? I think uh, at the beginning it was a struggle because uh, first we went to uh, Griffith, uh, a small town uh, where most uh, refugees, uh, families who come here uh, go to. Uh, at the beginning it was a struggle because uh, it was a new country, a new culture. It was like being reborn again. Uh, but, uh, but my friends uh, who are from different cultures and from different places, they made it very easy for me, uh, especially my best friend uh, Tulu, who was a Samoan girl. Uh, she, she did not uh, understand who, uh, what country I was from, or, uh, and I couldn't speak English, but she opened her arms up to me, and she was the one who get, provided me with this uh, image of Australia, Austra uh, an Australia that is very welcoming and warm. So she made my, my life, the transition uh, to the Australian culture and to the Australian way of life very easy for me. And, and now when I look back at that, uh, I think about it and uh, I say to myself that if, if, if we all open up our arms to people who come to our shores and people who come to the new country, uh, then it makes it easier for them to resettle and to uh, and to understand the Australian way of life and and to just embrace the diversity of this country and to contribute. Con Karapanajotis, is this a typical experience that we're hearing about here and do you believe in the current climate that we are doing enough to welcome our refugees in Australia? Well I think Cobra says it so beautifully doesn't she about when people who seek our protection arrive they face so many barriers and discrimination and challenges, but how quickly that life can change when people experience welcome. And Cobra is an incredible young woman who's studying to be a lawyer, who started with no English and is now thriving. That's what's possible when we actually welcome and believe in refugees. But we are not doing anywhere near enough. There are so many other incredible people like Cobra out there. And in fact, what we're doing is denying them the right to work, starving them, leaving them with no income, locking them up on the ruined manors. We are failing refugees because our politicians have abandoned them. For you, uh, Kura Murari, I understand that this will be the first federal election you'll be able to vote. Um, what do you make of the policies that they stand for our major political parties? Are you willing to uh, give us an insight into how you'll be planning to vote? I'm very excited to vote for the first time. I think that it, we live in a democ democratic country and what the people have is the power, the power to vote and to change uh, our government's behaviour and our government's policies. I think that both political parties have failed to show leadership in this area. Both of them have used the politics of fear and hate in order to justify their own policies. Uh, and I think that torturing people and detaining them uh, for no reason other than seeking a better life and to seeking to live, uh, I think it is not a great policy. Uh, and for me, what matters is, uh, a, lead, uh, is a leader or a, a political party that can show leadership, that can stand up and say that no, torturing people and detaining them uh, is not the way. That Australia can be a compassionate Australia and that everyone, no matter where they come from and what they believe in and what culture they are from, they too deserve a fair go. Uh, that's, that's the leader that I want and that's uh, someone who I will be voting for. 
Con Karapanagiotidis and Kubra Moradi. Thank you very much both for joining us and joining, sharing with us Refugee Week here on Weekend Breakers. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank, Thank you for you. having us.